Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how we use borax as an alternative to harsher chemicals to treat raw wood as a preventative for termites, mold, insect infestations, etc. We use at least a fourth of a cup of borax powder to four cups of hot water. If you're using metric, that would be 60 milliliters of borax to a liter of hot water. And we pre-mix it so it's partially dissolved to start with. Part of that is we don't have access to hot water in the wood shop, so we do an initial mix up here in the office where we've got hot water and then use a hot plate in the workshop to keep the borax dissolved in the water solution. I notice there's quite a few sites online suggesting warm water, but it's got to be almost boiling. Once we have that four cups of mix, they haul it over to the workshop and put it on the hot plate and get that very close to a boil. The project we're working on is a wood beam drop down ceiling. We'll put up a separate video detailing how we do that. So we've got a lot of planks that have to be treated as well as five large beams and we'll be applying two coats of borax on every surface. Be sure your wood is clean before you start. Felix is wiping it down with a damp cloth. Get rid of all the dust and sawdust that might be on the surface. The borax water solution is ready to apply when you've heated and stirred it until it's a clear liquid. We found that the best method was to take a small amount out of the heated pot and pour it on the wood and spread it with a brush. Some people use a sprayer, but we found that the sprayer method allowed too much of the borax to settle out of solution because of the cooling. This method uh, eliminates 100% of the spillage, which means we're not having to wash off the floor and wash that borax off into the yard where it would kill the grass or plants that might be growing there. And if you have a lot of helpers in the room, as we seem to have here, you want to make sure that no one tries to sample it. Once the wood is dry, there will be a small amount of powder that forms on the surface, which is a good sign that you used a sufficient amount of borax in your solution. You can apply the second coat right over the top of that borax dust and then clean off the excess when that dries. And that'll be it for this video.